As part of Governor Wolf's budget proposal, the Hunger Free Campus Initiative tackles the college hunger crisis. The $1 million plan aims to help college students struggling with food insecurity such as those who visit Penn State's Lions Pantry. It's definitely difficult, and ever since COVID hit, like at the very beginning of COVID, we had a lot of drive cancellations just due to like uh, max, max occupancy in inside spaces and government regulations. We just couldn't run the blood drives anymore. Um, so that took a huge blow to our blood supplies, and now we are in a, the biggest blood crisis that we've had in years. Lions Pantry is a student-run food pantry here at Penn State. They provide food and supplies to students in need. Director it's going to be more dangerous now to go in and get treatment because there simply isn't enough blood to put people through these surgeries. Childbirth is more dangerous. Chemo patients can't get the blood they need because um, we don't have all of the blood types and we just don't have enough to give it to them. So after treatments, chemo patients just feel really crappy for like two or three weeks afterwards when if they got their extra blood, they would be able to feel better within a couple of days. I'm here at the Millennium Science Building for the American Red Cross Blood Drive, where Penn State is currently competing against a few other Big Ten schools, including Michigan, Michigan State, and Wisconsin for the most blood donations. Even if you can't make it on campus for a blood drive, it's recommended you make an appointment downtown on Pew Street at the local donation center. In University Park, I'm Zane Gonzalez for the Senate County Report. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you did. For the rest of our newscasts and featured stories, click here. And for sports, click here. Have a great day and thanks for watching.